Two years ago, sat in a car park whilst exploring, we came up with an idea. An idea that's probably better than any idea we've ever had. We've been so lucky to travel to some fantastic countries for the main channel and done some amazing activities. But we've never done anything for the second channel where we've just travelled and not explored at the same time. So what is this great idea that we came up with? We bought a car, but not just any old car. A car that couldn't cost more than £150 to buy. A car that would get through its MOT, so it was at least road legal. And a car that was capable of travelling 2,500 miles through France, Spain, Gibraltar and on into Africa. But if you've ever watched our videos before, you know we don't do things by halves. So we enlisted the amazing graffiti artist T2 Sugars, our good friends over at Manscaped, and Sheffield's own Dyson Signs and Graphics. Right, so I'm not going to include the person that we're buying it off because they don't really want to be on camera, but that's fair enough. Andy's just doing the paperwork. I'll show you the car. Look at this quality beast. So it's a little Fiat. There's the, uh, there's the badge. And as you know, I know nothing about cars at all, but um, it's the smallest little vehicle you have ever seen in your life. But it sounds like it runs all right. So we'll have to see how far might not even get us back to uh, to yorkshire you just never know but i'll let andy get on with the paperwork anyway right i've got a better torch now i can show you the the engine <laughs> quality engine that one it? But just like i say these cars surprise you sometimes you buy a brand new car and it lasts six weeks and then you get a little car like this that just goes and goes and goes. That's not bad. Look, 58,000 miles on it. And it's a, what plate was it, Andy? Can you remember? Well, I 81. 81? 81. <laughs> so, yeah, 2001. 20 year old car and it's done 58,000 miles. And we're going to do 2,000 miles in it. <laughs> like a clown car. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm trying to work out how to do windows, I'm thinking this shit. You've got to wind it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. This is gonna be fun. God. We're just on the way to explore, but we've just had some shite news. We've just found out that the Fiat that we bought for the £150 car has got so much work that needs doing to it. It's like seven, seven hundred pounds minimum that needs like happening to it before it's even roadworthy and we did say in the rules we were allowed to obviously make it roadworthy otherwise it's an illegal challenge but 700 pounds we only paid 150 for it that's a total rebuild for 700 quid exactly so we're gonna scrap it we're gonna find another car over the next couple of days so fingers crossed we can find something well obviously as good if not better so, right, anyway, we'll see you in a bit. We're here for the second car, and it is, it's better, it's definitely better. 
it's got a bit more room to it as well which is good it's got quite a strange loud noise coming out of it but I'm sure we'll sort that out in a minute but yeah, we're, uh, yeah Ford car I know nothing about cars as you know but hopefully this is the one this is the one that's gonna get us there right away he goes seems to be driving really well I think this one is gonna be the one because that doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with it at all so we've dropped the car off at the garage and now we've just got to keep our fingers crossed that it gets through the MOT right so this is the car the second car and we've just found out this one's got to be scrapped as well absolutely unbelievable the amount of work that needs doing on this is crazy but the guy at the garage has had a word with someone and said we might be able to get this it depends if they accept our offer it's got mot on this one already you see so if we can we'll try and get this bad boy but we'll see things just seem to be going wrong at the moment I hope this isn't going to be the same when we actually do the the trip but anyway right so me and Andy are here for what hopefully is the last car that we need to get which is this Getz it's a Hyundai Getz and it looks in loads better condition than the other ones that we've been looking at and apparently the guy that works here says it's loads better what do you think it looks all right right apart from them big holes in it but other than that I'm sure we're not bothered about that. We're not bothered about dents and cosmetic things. Yeah. yeah. These, this is what I was looking at originally. I think these need replacing, but I think it's just blades in it. To be honest with you, blades are bollocks, lot. Not going to get them done unless we need a new MOT, which at the moment we don't until August. No. So hopefully, we get to do this trip before August, and there will be no money needed to be spent on it because it went through MOT fine last time. So, right. Let's, Let's get the. Uh, paperwork done. Oh, I'm going to be hanging out of that at some point, although I bet it doesn't come out all together, does it? One. It'll come out by the time we've finished. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a bit by the time we finish. I know. If we finish. Yeah, just want to say a massive shout out to Snape Hill Garage in, in Darfield, Barnsley. They've been absolutely amazing, uh, helping us out with the different cars, and they're the ones that have supplied this one for us, so thank you very much to you guys. Right, we've got Andy taking his time <laughs> he's looking a bit nervous I don't know you know what Andy's pretty good with cars I don't mind jumping in in a car but this one's automatic and neither of us have had an automatic for years so it is a little bit a bit worrying <laughs> look at his face concentration on that face right, he's good to go I think A bit of room. Oh, there's a car coming, Andy. There's a car coming. Has he stalled in the middle? Oh, no, he had. Oh, he can't really stall an automatic anyway. Oh, he's gone. Right, I'm going to leave him to it. He's off now. He's got about 15 miles to drive back to his house. Right, I've just spent a night camping just down there in these big tents. I'm now taking the car to be sprayed. So I'm going to bomb off and go and speak to the guy that's going to do it and he is amazing he's so so good as you can see i'm soaking so i'm getting back in right so we've made it i don't know how the fucking hell we have made it here so <laughs> a minute ago there's a whole new story in here as well i've just bombed over to wales and then got lost in wales because my battery on my phone died so i've been sat in ee waiting to be found and luckily you came and found me didn't you luckily i knew where he was i was we wouldn't have found him <laughs> so unfortunately we have got a welshman in his video i can't help that it's just one of these things it's t2 sugars he is absolutely amazing at the graffiti side of things um you want to get over check out his youtube channel and all his socials as well definitely i'll put them all down below but the beast is here it has made it to wales and actually it drove really really well so we're going to crack on you're going to do some stuff. I don't want to know what it is. I don't want to know what you're going to do at all. Got some ideas already. Good. I like the fact that you've got ideas, but there's going to be a massive reveal very shortly. I'm going to show you guys his work right about now.
we're back in Wales to pick the car up, which is there. <laughs> uh, with T2 Sugars and obviously Andy's here this time. So we're going to get the big reveal in a minute and I just I cannot wait. I'm so nervous. You're nervous, um, aren't you? Just let you all know, I am absolutely shitting my pants. So <laughs> You don't need to. Doesn't matter. It's we're... too late. We can't take it off Yeah, now. exactly. So anyway, let's crack on and have a look. Oh my God. This is amazing. Oh. This is amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. How good is that? Jesus. That is that is one of the best things I've ever, because it's my face Your on it face. and it's massive, I'm guessing. Your face nearly I'm hoping that. that, let's have a look. Oh, he's got you to a T as well. Look at that. That is amazing. This is the best thing oh I have ever God. seen. Right, guys, you definitely need to get over and subscribe. <laughs> there you go. Get over, subscribe. How amazing is this? It is one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. The eyelashes on it as well. Wow. <laughs> it's so good. So, so good. Right. It's quarter to eight at night. We've travelled all the way from Wales. We set off at about nine o'clock this morning, half eight, nine o'clock this morning. We've just got back. We have the car and we're at Dyson Signs. Now, Dyson Signs is owned by a good friend of mine and he's going to do the stickering on the back windscreen and on the bonnet. So I'm leaving here overnight. Andy's somewhere over there making sure that the gate doesn't lock me, lock me in. Uh, and then I am out of here and we'll get this back hopefully in the next week. So we're in Sheffield. We are on day one. It is what time? I don't even know what time it three is. o'clock. Half past three. God, we're pushing it now. We need to crack on. So we've got a long, long trip down to Dover, across on the ferry, and we really need to hurry up because... <laughs> Shifty on. Yeah. So we're going to get out of here. I'm not going to film loads and loads of the trip down on this bit because it's going to be in the dark and you're not going to see very much. So, away yeah, exactly. So let's crack on and we'll see you down there. Right, so we've been going 20 minutes and already we stopped. And the reason we stopped is him needing a piss every five seconds. We've only just got down road and he's having one already. Oh, is it? Is it a pre... A pre motorway piss. It is. You know, it's it, cold's got to me old bones. Oh, he's so old. What right. I just said, I'm old. <laughs> Fucking what do you want from me? <laughs> Dragging me out at half past two in the morning. Well, I'm trying to change gear in the fucking automatic now. <laughs> and that's it. We were off on our trip that we've been planning for the last two years. Now, the thing is, we had a massive problem on day one. A problem we didn't even realise we had. We get people mentioning on our normal videos that they can't always hear Andy very well, so we thought we'd use a directional mic. Now the problem with a directional mic it is what it says on the tin. It works in a certain direction. So for day one and part of day two, our plan had backfired. Instead of having better sound for Andy, you couldn't hear him at all. But don't panic, it gets better. And even though I can't hear his voice, you still get to see his stupid face. As you can see, we started to get a bit of blue sky up there and I'm hoping we're going to get some good weather while we're away. Yeah. I think France is going to be rainy though, mate. It's going to be chilly. Chilly? I think it'll be chilly. It'll be similar to here probably, won't it? Spain will be a bit warmer and then Morocco hopefully will be shorts even warmer. On. I've got shorts on anyway, you silly twat. Me, me. Bloody hell, it must be I warm. Brought shorts. Must be really warm if you're going to be wearing shorts. Let's get some breakfast down as that might That'll cheer me up. Yeah, you know what? That's going to cheer me up as well. I, I desperately need it now. Desperately need it. So we need to sort this mess out in the back of here as well. Because it's, it's just it's just thrown everything in. Anyway, let's go get some breakfast. Right, breakfast is here. And it's needed. It's definitely needed. You can't even see it. Look, I've got a, I've got a big fat <laughs> breakfast. I, know, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. It's just going all over. So yeah, we're gonna smash these down. We've not got long. What we got? Like 
40 minutes, 45 minutes. Yeah. Uh, not an hour. No, we ain't got that much because we're going to be there 45 minutes before. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. It's not 10 o'clock, it's 10 to 10. Yeah. It's cowboy time. It's cowboy time. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got minutes. about. No! How have we got 45 minutes? It's only 5 minutes down there. The, oh, you just talk out your arse, you. We've got about half an hour. So, we're going to crack on, get down there, and get on that ferry because I don't want to be left here in the UK. We've got a big journey ahead of us. Oh, and by the way, we're on we number three now. So we've been going for how long? And how, and you, you're just smashing them out left, right, and centre. Drinking. So this coffee's not going to help anyway. Right. So we've just been sat here, and two what are they? Copperbergs have been delivered to the table because people, our subscribers, know where we are, where we sat. So they've sent them through to us. Just be like about me having a piss all the time. Be right with that. <laughs> and it is eight o'clock in the morning as well. With the hell? I've got a sombrero for a mushroom. Ooh, that is massive. Breakfast done, drinks drunk, and it's time to get down to the ferry. And it's still a mad rush. We still leave everything to the last second. Right, you got the passports, haven't you? Passporte. Oh, good. Documente. Not, where do you expect we're going? Um, Mexicano. You're an idiot. <laughs> Absolute idiot. So yeah, this is the. It's technically the the French border, but it's sort of not really, is it? It's just a little box with a person in it. Is that is ours already here? Is there any boats in? Yeah. Is there? I ain't seen any. I've only seen PNO ones though. Oh, what are we on? DFDS. DF? Isn't that something to do with carpets or something? <laughs> DFF. <laughs> <laughs> YouTubers. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, me. Me on the other side. Oh, are you are on the other side. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we don't need our passports. He's just, he's just looking at us. He's like, he's laughing his head off at us. Definitely getting noticed. He even got his uh, his copper mate to come and have a look. <laughs> they know can't, who we are. Can't run away now. Yeah. Thank you very much. I can't believe that. He yeah. was proper impressed. He went, hey, it's you! <laughs> it's you! Oh, God. Oh. He's, uh, he's def definitely got the right qualifications for uh, border control, aren't they? Make sure you're going the right way. Yeah, oh, me. no, that's it. We're getting checked. <laughs> They're looking for bombs. <laughs> We're getting pulled in. Oh, my okay. God. I thought we were getting a full anal cavity <laughs> search then, but no, she's just had a look underneath the car with mirrors. Um, I had a look. To mind them, to be fair. You can't say that. But yeah, I had a look round the car, uh, inside and out, underneath, and check just to make sure we we're not smuggling. Right. To be fair, like we've just said to her, we would be the world's shittest smugglers <laughs> to put our faces on the side of the car <laughs> and where we're from, and then. Like we stick out like a bloody sore thumb. Anyway, we're the only ones, by the looks of things, that have been pulled in. So picking on us because of a stupid car. Yeah, exactly. Right. Let's get on this boat. Right. We're out of the car. About to be run over by lots of other cars. So we're going to leave the car here. Get upstairs and cause some mischief. Well, maybe not cause mischief for us, but I'm going to be causing some mischief for Andy, I think. Oh, we're going up the stairs, we're not being lazy for a change. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you know what? When we go on trips normally, we do thousands of steps, don't we? But I don't know if we're going to this time because of the car. Well, yeah, obviously, because we're going in a car. I've got something to tell you. Right, so there was something that we talked about on a live stream the other day, but I've not really given you much information about it. Basically, we've got a series that's all about discomfort on our channel and things. This is discomfort. Exactly. Well, we, we stood in front of loads of people talking absolute balls, but we've got to do something each day. One of us has got to do a task each day, 
and the way to decide that is rock, paper, scissors. No, and go on. we're going to do it now. And I've got these in here, and you have to pick one out. Whoever loses has to pick one out for what they're going to do that day. Okay. And there is some very extreme ones in here. Some very extreme ones. What, in life here. or death extreme? Possibly, yes. Oh, very nice. Possibly life or death. Something possibly involving fire. Something possibly involving permanent scarring. There's, there's many things in there that are quite many interesting. Levels. Exactly. So, very going to sink. We're going to go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Right, okie dokes. So, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Balls. So, I have lost the first one. I have got the bag of forfeits. Now, the thing is, I know what these are. You know nothing. You know, know nothing. You know none of them at all. And I'm concerned which one I'm going to get. I can't read it through it. I'm trying to, but it's not helping. So I'm going to when I get in there. I'm going to mix them up, and I'm going to get one out. Oh, I'm worried about this. Is it? Oh God! This is the worst one to get today. Literally the worst one I could have got today. Burn all your clothes and wear the clothes in the bag provided for the remainder of the trip. Does that mean does that mean I've got to burn I've got to burn everything? I've got to burn my trainers. I've got to burn Good. my I'm glad you've got to burn this Don't burn for everything. I've got to burn all the clothes I've brought with me. And just keep on. This pair of shorts, because oh no, there is shorts in there. Have a look. This is my bag. There's a pair of shorts. There's a t shirt, but there's a thing about this t shirt, right? It's a Finders Beepers t shirt, which is good. It's got no sleeves. So I'm going to have guns out for the rest of the trip. We've got. These to replace my trainers. Trust me, these smell just as bad. They stink. I've got to wear this. There's a pair of glasses as well that go with it, and I don't know where they may have fallen out somewhere. I will go and put these on. Oh, I get to keep a hoodie because I'm allowed one item of each thing as well. So I've got a T-shirt, so I can have my hoodie on occasionally, and also. I'm not burning these shorts. These are me wearing shorts. These are me swimming shorts. So am I allowed a pair of swimming shorts as well? Otherwise I'm going to be wet. Yeah, you can't sit in wet shorts all Yeah, time. exactly. So, yeah, t-shirt. I'll keep these shorts on all the time apart from when I'm swimming I'll put these on. Yeah, fair, deal, right. You've got tan legs and tan arms. Well, yeah, true. But it's all tanned. Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, I walked out of that toilet just as some other bloke did, and he went. Second look. Like proper double look, yeah. So, and now everybody around here is looking at me as well. So, this is going to be great. How am I going to be took serious, like when we're going in places and You've stuff? Got no chance. You, you can do all talking. So. You think so? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm going to get used to it. At least I can wear my old day. That's the one thing. Yeah, because in France, it's, well, this part of France is going to be a bit, a bit chilly. Yeah, it is. I can't let, have you dying in hypothermia. Not the first night. <laughs> exactly. Right. Shall we go and get a drink? Yeah. Sir. Right. Already, I'm starting to feel it now. Anybody that has watched our channel before knows I get really, really seasick. Like, really seasick. And already we're wobbling. And it's not feeling very good I'm not gonna lie so anyway the best way I find is to get something inside me that sounds so wrong <laughs> and it calms me down a little bit so I'm gonna get a drink and we'll, we'll sit down over there somewhere then it was time for one of our favorite things to make the music video now if you haven't seen that already it's already up on the channel so go and check it out it was the windiest day ever. We really struggled to make the intro for the video. 
But if you've seen it, you will know it was well worth the effort. Right, I'm just going to bomb outside. I'm leaving him here with a bag. Dirty bag. Dirty bag. And bombing outside to look how bad this weather is. You'll see in a second how awful it is. <laughs> Thing is, right, one of the days we're in France, we're supposed to be... I can't, I can't take myself seriously with this bleed, these glasses on. Look at it, right, look at the weather. It's horrendous and we're supposed to be camping in France one of the days we're here. We're only here two days, so that's either today or tomorrow, tomorrow I think. So, yeah, I'm hoping it cheers up a little bit. But welcome to La France. Right, all of a sudden I needed a poo. And now they're announcing we're getting off the boat, so I need to hurry up. I've also noticed there's a sign here that says do not put foreign items down the toilet. What, like a baguette or a Frenchman. Right, so we've spent the last five minutes searching for our car. We're not sure where we are, what deck we're on or anything. <laughs> it's typical. Why do we never look at these things? Well, I said before it's deck five, but when you come out, it's buses. I know. So then we went down to deck three, had a wander around a bit, but I think, oh yes, the car is there. Looks really bad, isn't it? Piss wet through, we're gonna get. It's bad. Oh yeah. I hope it calms down. I'm driving up right now, aren't I? I forgot about that. Oh yeah, drive up right side of gold. Yeah, but we're not in lanes at the moment. Well, we are, but we're in like a car lane and a and a van lane. Oh yeah, by the way, we are swapping each day. We're having half the journey. So you had the English part today and I had the French. So I love driving abroad anyway, so it's not a problem for me. Might be a problem for me. You've driven abroad though. I've driven in Romania, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you drove while I were dying. So we should be fine. We nearly died while you were dying. What do you mean? What? Because you almost hit a thousand dogs. Yeah, and a uh, thousand curbs and a thousand <laughs> ditches. At least you didn't fall asleep at the wheel like I did. No. <laughs> Just got to the uh, <laughs> to the traffic lights, stopped for a second, and I went fast asleep because I was right, so let, poor. Let's, like. let's change. So bad. You were scared, weren't you? Just a bit. Anyway, a bit look at this terrible, terrible weather. I've just filled up at the local petrol station and the weather's not getting any better. In fact, it's getting uh, a lot worse. We've already seen one accident on the way where people have actually aquaplane they're going to crash barriers. So it's not looking really good, is it, Matthew? Not, not looking great at all. The thing I'm worried about is, right, I'm going to wear these shorts, the thick shorts, they're going to get soaked. So you've surely got to let me have some trousers. No, he's not allowed, that's the deal. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Well, you expect me to, like, put my swim shorts on because it's that wet and then I can change into my good shorts later? Yeah, and then when they dry, then you slop back over again. That's ridiculous. I'm going to get pneumonia and die. Be right. You won't feel wet then, will you? <laughs> you are a whole man. You are a whole man. I suppose these are my rules, so better stop. You'll make these games up. And you'd, you'd expect me to do it if, if it were me. So, on that, yeah. whatever happens, whoever gets the next bad thing, or all of the bad things in the future, yeah. we've got to stick to them then, yeah? Depends if it's me. No, exactly. <laughs> so we're sticking to them, 100%. Is that the rule we're going for? Well, we'll see what they are. No, no. We've got to agree now. If I'm sticking to this, we're sticking to all of them, 100%, yes? Um, yeah, go on then. Go on then, right, okay. We will see. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If we'll it means see. me dying, I'm not sticking to being dying. Pinky promise. I'm not I'm sticking to my pinky pinkies. promise. I'm not pinky, pinky and you. Get your pinky out and promise me. Come on. Pinky promise. Can't beat a pinky promise. Right. <laughs> I don't know what's going wrong. You're just one big girl. I am a big girl. Anyway, let's let's just get there. I just want to get there now. See what his uh, accommodations would be like. Well, yeah. You know what? I, I've totally forgotten what I've booked. I there's a, I know there's there's certain sorts of accommodation in different places. 
but I can't remember what any of them are like apart from the last one because I booked the last one last, last. week <laughs> yeah exactly because I thought oh see what money we've got see if we can get a bit of a nicer place for the last day but other than that I can't really remember so I do apologise in advance if they're terrible it, well I'm not apologising clean and comfortable I ain't bothered well yeah because we've stayed in some pretty dire places yeah. in the past haven't we so sure we'll not die we'll go for one night yeah exactly right I think it's about time to stop for dinner what do you think definitely agrees definitely agrees so sorry you've been outvoted we're turning off we're turning off we're going for some dinner in a nice little village hopefully I think it's a town I'm not sure it's Ab Abbeville 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 sound doesn't sound French sounds American doesn't it yeah like Amityville Horror which is it is Amityville Horror it is. isn't it yeah exactly this is sort of might place never see us again <laughs> oh yeah we're gonna pay us road tolls look at that sky that sky looks amazing not on it doesn't look it in real life it's dark on there look at that that looks amazing in fact it's got a face there's a face in there make sure you get the right one oh not yeah the, not the one with the cross on it yeah let's go to the one that's got the cross on it that's a good idea isn't it <laughs> all right you've got to do the tickets because it's your side oh, but i don't know what it's going to be we've no idea have we no get a bit closer yeah, move up, move up. Oh, Jesus, don't let that barrier hit us. Go on, stretch. Fucking, I've got the stretch as well. <laughs> How much are we saying? 870. Oh, that's not too bad. Done? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. And away we go. Hey, you know. That's, not, that's not too bad. It could be worse. It's miles, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Right, let's get to Abbeville. <laughs> You're such a good ass. Just going round and round and round. Where are we going here? I don't know. I feel like we've been round three times. I don't know what's going on. Oh, God. It's like we've been back on the same road. Yeah, we're well, back in the direction we've come from, yeah. Right. So, we've waited for a moment of non pouring down rain. And this bit seems okay here that we're coming through. So I want to get these clothes burnt. I have covered it in lighter gel stuff. So it may go up quite badly, but we have got water. I know it says screen wash, but it is water. Um, so we're going to get my clothes burnt. Uh, and I've got these to wear now for the rest of the trip. Um, so we will get that done. But yeah, safety first. We've cleared an area out. It's going to be awkward because it's windy, but we'll get it done. Stop panicking that someone's going to see us. It doesn't matter. It's fine. What's going to happen? What's the worst that's going to happen? Hello, police. Yeah, and we'll go, bye, and run away. God, you'd make a great arsonist, you. Fucking hell. This is, this is going well, isn't it? <laughs> in your thumb try this just coat it in some of that stuff that looks like someone's wiped their arse on that Andy don't really care why did nothing mean? burn in France <laughs> there we sort of go think so wouldn't you that's it now don't burn your hand off why put it on top of the fire don't smother it that's it starting to go now that took its time didn't it i'm on fire more than what that is Oh, I'm going to stink of fire for the rest of the trip now. That's the problem. Now, don't panic. We had thought about it. We got a big bottle of water just in case. We cleared all the stuff up afterwards, made sure that everything was safe and looked after. We didn't want to go to a different country and burn it down. Right, so we're all parked up, leaving the beeper beast behind for a little bit. 
doing pretty well. Is the beep a beast, a man or a woman? That's what I want to know. What I'm thinking is, it's been, it's been in Donny and Barnsley, so technically, it could be a woman, definitely. <laughs> could be it's a beast. Big whore bag. <laughs> Actually, yeah, look, it's half pink, half blue. Oh, it's got titties. It's what? Titties. <laughs> it has got titties. Yeah, I'm absolutely starving. And yeah, he's starting to piss it down. Is it just and a I'm, wino place. Oh, a wino place? It's not like full of winos. It could be. It could be shut. It could be. It could be shut, but there's lights on. The door does look oh, shut. Really? What? Shut? No, lights on, but there's nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> look at it inside here. Yeah, it could be a bit posh for us. But let's have a look at the menu. Let's see what this menu's saying. Uh, Can I have gravel axe, please. <laughs> that's an, off that advert. Oh, <laughs> salmon. I, I like, I know what gravel axe is. It's gravel. It, <laughs> it's done in a certain way, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look, you've got mousse chocolate, tiramisu, um, Caesar salad. Bowls, you don't actually get any food, you just get a bowl. Get a bowl. What are you doing now? What are you doing translate? There we go. This is better. People tell us to do this all the time. Veal, trout with crunchy vegetables, that means they're not cooked. Um, profiteroles, cake, baba way. <laughs> baba. baba. I, in fact, before we go for food, I want to look at the deer head shop. It looks good up here. There's that shop with a big deer head over top of it. Yeah, look. Ooh, some nice... Look at them. They'll do as well, won't they? <laughs> Jesus. What we got in here? Some big guns. What are, to bear arms. What are they? Are they like flashbangs? Those... Oh, is it pepper spray? Oh, you know what? We could pepper spray each other. No. <laughs> Not doing it. Look at that! I'm, I'm going to buy that. If you pepper spray me, I'm going to smack you in mouth with that. It's a proper knuckle duster, isn't it? It's like a lethal one, that. Ow. <laughs> no. Oh, it is. I wonder how strong that is. How much is 55 it? 55 euros. 55 euros for a taser. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Thing is, I just don't know whether either his arts would be up to it. We'd just die. Right, so we're still on the hunt for proper food and I just keep getting sidetracked with places like this. It just all looks very good, doesn't it? Very good. But yeah, look at all the stuff in there. Looks wonderful. I want that coffee thing there with the beans on the corner. Right, let's head back where we've come from and see if we can find any food. This is just taking us for days. I know, it's always the same. Oh, look, see, look, this is it. Every other shop. Right, so we are here having food. Oh, we're about to have food. Yeah, I'm tired out. We've been up since what? What time did you get up? One o'clock this morning. And what time is it now? Uh, 25 past three. 25 past three, so we're talking a good 14 and a half hours yeah. already. All driving pretty much as well. Yeah. Uh, apart from the last, what, two hours? No, about an hour, just over an hour walking around trying to find some way of eating, yeah. which we've finally found. But it is going to be the weirdest, weirdest food I've ever heard of. So shepherd's pie sounds normal, doesn't it? Maybe real shepherds. But it isn't. It's shepherd's pie made with duck. And I've never heard of that before, so I'm quite intrigued what it's going to be like. They've been, this, this lady has been really, really good to us. They've actually stopped serving food at two o'clock and it's like, like 23 minutes past three. So we've done really well to get food. Nowhere else is open. They've all got baguettes. Baguettes, you know, like carrying the bread about all day. What's all that about? Like, they dry it out before they get it home. As we were walking, we were just carrying it and eating it as we were going. Now, I know I've seen it in films and things, but you think it's just sort of made up and a bit of a stereotypical thing, don't you, really? You do. It's been nice though, walking around. Yeah, it has. Right, our food is here. And I'm, 
I'm interested now. It looks like what's what's the cheese called? Yeah, that comes in a box. That's what it reminds me of. Go on then. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh well, that's that is interesting. That is definitely interesting. You got sesame seeds or something on top. I'm gonna have to. Oh, is it poppy seeds? You can smell the balsamic vinegar, can't you? As well. Oh, it's cheesy. I think it's cheesy. Oh, let's have a look inside mine. I can't do it left-handed. This is awkward. There we go. There we go. I sort of see the duck at the bottom. It's boiling. While we took into this amazing French food, here's a word from Manscaped, our sponsors. As you know, we love Manscaped. We've worked with them before and we'll work with them on into the future. So when they told us about the launch of the Lawnmower 4.0, we were excited. Because I knew from previous products how good they are on your balls. And I thought it was impossible to improve on the Lawnmower 3.0, but Manscaped have really outdone themselves this time. Adding the adjustable guard for all your styling needs. And trust me, Andy needs plenty of style. They've integrated skin safe technology to stop all those nicks and cuts. Kept all the favourites like the waterproof feature. Not only have they upgraded the lawnmower, they've upgraded the Platinum Package 4.0 and it's amazing. They've kept the little light on there so you can shave your balls in the dark if your power goes in this horrible energy crisis we're having to put up with. And they've improved things like the wireless charging and the battery on there. While we're on our road trip, that means we can last longer and longer. forget you get a free bag and free shipping for details how to win a platinum package 4.0 and to use the code car150 please check out the description below anyway back to the video right we're back in the car the thing is now we are heading to ruin and it's been nice and it the weather's been all right but we're setting off again and it's starting to rain again and a lot of the things that we want to film are outside so i really really hope it doesn't ruin the rest of the day i think we'll be all right do you think i think so i think the heaviest of the rain's gone i hope so we've just been, we've just been doing a bit of filming so we do anyone that doesn't watch the channel normally we do a music video like a bit of a lip sync music video on the journey We've just been doing a couple of clips for it, haven't we? One in front of a car, but the other one, get show the bread. So we've got we got some like mini baguette things, and the idea was <laughs> the idea was on the sort of the drop in this song on the beat, and I'm supposed to be dancing, and Andy hits me around the back of the head with one. <laughs> Neron knocked me clean out. It's tough bread. It that. is the hardest fucking bread you have ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. I had to split with, it with a piece of 2 by 2 Yeah. The thing is, just before that as well, I'd stood in a big piece of dog shit. I'm going to want them glasses. I'm just stood in dog shit. Full on stood in dog shit. So I got dog shit on my shoe. I got hit round the back of the head with that. It were, it were bad, but it's, it's been fun. Like, we've walked round and round trying to find food for such a long time, haven't we? Nice dog. But yeah, well worth Eventually. it. Well worth it. Right, we have arrived at our first destination. The car is doing really well. 
the one thing I will say, the one thing that is we are worried a bit a bit about, but we sort of expected it, is this. I'll show you. The paintwork is starting to come off. If you look all around the edges, it's just chipping off and flaking off. But we knew, and we asked um, T2 Sugars not to seal it because we knew it weren't coming back. The car wasn't coming back, so there was no point. But it is, it is just starting. If you look, little tiny flecks where stuff's hit it it's just starting to break down a bit which is a shame but it's nothing major i don't think there's anything really bad happening is there it's just a couple of bits but we get in there and the main thing is not so much getting the paintwork there it's getting the car there isn't it look there's a couple more bits there oh no that you've just got a dirty mark on your eye right so we're in the accommodation god this is like we're going exploring feel a bit, a bit weird. I can't quite get up. These are so steep, I can't see you. Do you really need your specs on to know what numbers they are? Yeah. Right, Andy, are you trying to, are you trying to press this? Uh, just, just a minute. Have you just tried to change <laughs> that, which is a plastic thing on the outside? So this is, have we got one, have we got a double bed between us? Is there only one bed? This is a pull-out bed. Oh, pull yeah, I remember now. Pull-out bed, that's that's your bed then. Yeah, and, I'm pull-out bed. Oh, unless you want to sleep on the on the kitchen worktop. It'd be better for your back. It might be. But yeah, this is so this is Andy's bed. He's got his nice pull-out, because I always stick him on the worst bed in the place. That's because you'll kill yourself for a while, don't you? <laughs> oh God, I'm walking into things. And also, if I'm sleepwalking, or snoring or talking I'm better off shut up in a little room like this so you don't have to put oh no I've got a little toilet look here I've got a little shower toilet. yeah well there's no toilet but there's a shower I can piss in that so right so we are coming out for something to eat we literally we went in there showed you around the room and two minutes later and the next thing it was two hours later we were fast asleep both of us i woke up and normally it's andy will have a, like a little power nap and then come and wake me up but this time you were asleep a lot longer so than me you were bang out i'm gonna go yeah we're gonna get some food i don't know what we're gonna do about food yet and we're um, also just gonna have a couple look around a couple of bits aren't we see what this place see is like it's massive though it is and we're probably going to do more here tomorrow than we are tonight because we don't want to rush it and we don't want to miss out on stuff that's here by rushing round. So as well, it, it will so we're going to jump in the car we're going to go into the town center and see what it looks like at night so we'll see you down there sounds busy around here is it just because we're near food places oh yeah yeah that's what i can hear right we need to work out where we're going from here Right, so we've walked up here and we seem to have come head first straight into some sort of massive running race and it's huge, isn't it? How many people have run past here while we've been here? Yeah. I wonder if... What's it say? I can't see what it says. Oh, I think it might say marathon. You don't often have nighttime marathons, do you? Yeah. But very cool. I'd like to see this many people together. Let's keep going. Let's try and get through the sea of runners. Yeah, because I think there's something pretty impressive behind here as well. So I want to get through and have a look. Right, we've just come across what looks like a cathedral. I think, I seem to remember reading that it was the same as Notre Dame, like in, in Paris. Yeah. But we're actually on the same river that Paris is as well. Is it the same? The same. Yeah, that runs through here, so I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, but look at this place. Now, it, it looks like it's having work done it at the moment, so there's stuff all around it, and it's not very well lit up, but I'll try and show you. There we go, look. It's absolutely massive. You can't even really tell how tall that is either, can you, from here? Right. So I was going to show you more of this in the morning, but I've decided to show you a bit of it now. Look at that. That is so impressive. 
and it's massive this place it's so so big you can't even get a scale of it can you looking on here how big it is look at that big window up there the big circular window as well that's madness and then there's an extra tower to it there i think andy is you're overwhelmed by the size of that direction aren't you yeah, it's that, just the, the detail and the intricacy of all, all the cars. Yeah, that's it. And it stood there for hundreds, if not a thousand years. Anyway, we said we wouldn't look at this and we still are, so <laughs> let, let's keep Wait going. <laughs> exactly. Right, I'm back again. This building just keeps on giving. We walk around the other side of it and it's getting bigger. And he's walking off to like Germany to take a photograph of it. It's that bit. Look! Still can't get a photo. It's massive. That is some building. And to say that I don't, I've never really heard of this city, Ruin, 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 Ruin. It's amazing that this isn't talked about more often because this is an absolutely stunning building. Now one thing I have noticed, there's a lot of characters and we're just about to come up to another one. Look at you eyeing up the burgers and kebabs in there. This, this guy, look at him. We, English, sorry. English. Hey, do you want a photo? Yeah, 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 He's a, you're a top guy, just a minute. Hey, look, oops, sorry, sorry. Alors qu'est-ce que je vous dirais de beau, monsieur? Je vous taille une bavette, non? Dans la Loyale? Dans la Loyale, je vous une bavette dans la Loyale. Et je suis moi, je suis chez Golène, moi. C'est Golène Royal. Ah, I've got, oh, I've got Royal, no, quoi. I've got no ah. cigarettes, but I've got some change. Oh, merci, mon cœur. Merci, mon cœur. Ça va me permettre de m'acheter une baguette. Yeah. Ah, mon trésor. Oh, merci, mon cœur. He's got some as well. Oh, merci, mon cœur. Yeah. yeah. Hey, mon cœur. <laughs> une baguette. Une baguette. Deux ouais. baguettes. Deux baguettes. Trois ah, baguettes. Trois baguettes. <laughs> Les baguettes à tambour. Ah, toi, t'as des baguettes à tambour, mon amour. Ouais. Tu peux pas avoir des cheveux comme moi. Ah, mon petit cœur. That's what mine gets oh, like. Mine's gonna get that. Je vais passer où, mon amour? Je vais passer où avec ça? Uh, YouTube. Nous, où que c'est, je vais passer à la télé? Ma French. Non, c'est pour toi, personnellement. Is... C'est pour toi, ma... personnellement. Hein. Uh, what's, what's, I don't speak uh, French. Je ne comprends pas. Je ne C'est pour vous, euh, le film. Film, film. Yeah. Pour yeah, yeah. vous. Pour vous. Uh, who's it for? Who? Oui. For who? Okay. Um, for people all over the world. Ah oui. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So you are, anglais, you are famous. Mm. No, no. J'ai une Jaguar, j'ai une Jaguar. America. Une, une, une Jaguar, c'est anglais. Uh, in Jaguars. Jag. 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 Eh, I'm, moi je suis Mick Jagger. I, I feel really, really <laughs> bad now because I don't Jagger, understand right. what he's saying, but <laughs> top guy anyway. Well, Thank you very much for speaking to us. Eh, que du bonheur. Hein? Yeah, I'm not having a, I'm not having a kiss. Good to be there. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Hey, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Nathalie. Bye, Nathalie. Bye. Nathalie, bye. See you later, pal. Salut. Salut, mon petit point. Wow. <laughs> now, like, I, I love it because even though there's no, there's a language barrier there, we sort of like had a connection. It's good, innit? I like it. I like going all over the world. and yeah that's it and don't get me wrong literally 95 percent of what he was saying i had no clue, no, no clue. I, I do know little bits of french but i don't know enough at all and i feel bad about it i always well, feel bad wherever i go yeah i think it's just how we brought up as as brits we're not taught the languages and it's a shame because in other countries all over the world. They're taught English, they're taught other languages. Well, the French president did say that uh, us English were a bit ignorant uh, because we didn't speak their language. Well, I thought that's what he said anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad. Anyway, you? <laughs> you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. I'm trying to be all like, let's learn languages. We should. And you're like, I don't know what the French Prime Minister saying because I don't understand him, you idiot. Right. Oh, look at these. Doctors. What are these? They're bizarre. They're really weird. Those green things are odd. I like green butt plugs. Butt plug? Right, what are you sticking up your ass? One of them green ones. 
<laughs> right, come on, let's go and get some food, I'm starving. Right, before we go any further, you've just said what are these. Do you remember back in the 80s? When you used to give, Maybe. when you used to give uh, bones to your dog? Yeah. Yeah, and what do you used to see in the street all the time? Dead dogs. Dead dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the white dog poos. That's where they've all gone off the streets. That's when you just leave them in the garden, they go all mouldy. You used to see them though, didn't you, all the time? You don't see them anymore. It's because people don't give them bones. Right, so we're heading up to what looks like a big square up there. And I've just come across this. This looks like something out of Harry Potter or, or Tudor times, doesn't it? It is like a film set. This is like stepping back in time. 100% he's just had a piss around that corner. Definitely he's just had a piss around that corner. Yeah. But this is, this is weird. This is like something that, from York or somewhere. Oh, can we get down here? Oh, look. Who's Ali? Yeah, look at Ali this. Ali, why would Ali McCoist be here? This is this is a bit creepy. I'm not going to lie. It it is like stepping back into medieval times, though, isn't it? This you could imagine them throwing the buckets of shit out the window and stuff. Not that I can see you anymore. I know. It smells nice down here. I feel like I can't because out. Oh yeah, I can. But I can't really, yeah, get the torch on. Although it does. What are you doing? There we go. Yeah, look at that. It's actually extremely high, that building. And then the bells are going as well. Of course it's coming. <laughs> yeah. This is mad. This is what happens when you just have a bit of a wander round. We've walked into the bit we didn't even know existed now with all the shops and stuff up there. Let's go and have a look down here, see what we can find. Now you see a lot of people, what they do, you're doing exactly what I do, but a lot of people just walk along, looking at the floor, looking at the shops, and you don't notice the age of some of these buildings above. What are you doing? What's happening? Why is there a river? Same in even places like Sheffield, you see the shops like Vodafone and other things like that. But if you look up, you can see where all the old places used to be back in the day. But this is brilliant. I would definitely recommend coming here and I'd like to see, I feel like we've only seen a tiny bit of the place. So the river we saw, or the stream or whatever it is, runs all the way up the front of the shops. So you can sit out and have food in these medieval style buildings with a little stream running, how cool is that? Right, so we've just got talking to JC. Yeah. Are you are you from this bar? Is, yeah. yeah, it's a restaurant actually. Oh, restaurant, fantastic. Yeah. Asian restaurant. And he's, uh, he's just told us there's actually loads of fish in here. And he, <laughs> he put them in, did you say you put them in a few years ago? I put them three years ago. Um, mainly red fish, goldfish, and also some, um, Koi. Koi oh, carp. koi, koi carp. Some are quite small and some are quite big. Really? Yes. I can hear, I can hear stuff down here actually. Let's have a look. That's mad. Oh look, 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 look. That one just poked his head out. Do you see him? There we go. Look. That's crazy. That right next to all these restaurants, there's all these fish, and this guy put them here. That's so good. Where? Oh yeah. It's coming out well. Now that we've moved. Yeah, it's because we're scaring them off. I feel like I feel like JC might want to kidnap us. Yeah. Hey up. It's a. Is it not a Chinese restaurant? Is he put them in there and he's gonna hook a, hook them out every day? <laughs> JC, you bad man. Are you sure you're not selling them in your restaurant? <laughs> too small right well we're going to get off but thank you very much really really appreciated bye bye right so we found some food places but Andy's just said these are definitely too posh for us tonight we just want absolute crap we do kebabs, pizzas have you seen that house in front 
and how much it leans. That's mad. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, that's really bad. It's like the Leaning Tower of Ruin. These are amazing. Just all the little, the little cafes around here as well. It's so good. I feel like I'm raving about this place. And I'm going to admit this now. I picked this place as a bit of a cop out first night. Don't really know much about it, but it's a good place to stop on the way to the next place. And actually, it's amazing. It's really amazing. I'm not going to lie, Andy. I want a dirty kebab. I think that's what I want. Right, the thing is, we keep getting distracted. Like, so you've got all your amazing places, you've got another massive church. But then look at this. What, what is happening there? Is every, right, you must put your settee at one side of the room and then by the time you come back, it's the other. <laughs> it's crazy. These... What the hell's a skeleton in midway that's getting that upstairs? isn't it? <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, you remember that Barclays advert or whatever it was where they were a slide down from top floor in a... Yeah, it's like this. That's mad. Makes no sense. Right, kebab. Kebab. Right, we finally got our food. Andy has just opened... Right, I just want to show you. Andy's just opened his and went, this isn't mine because it's chips. There's a massive thing underneath how could you not see that you were in the shade i was in your shade yeah that makes no sense you made it dark that makes like sense the dark side of the moon <laughs> anyway i'm gonna crack on eat some food we'll see you in the morning and the day two yeah of this epic road trip exactly i want to see more of this place before we go there definitely want to see more of this place so we'll see you in the morning. Next time on the trip to Africa in the 150 pound car. And I know, I know you watching there, you, especially you, I know what you like, I know what you're thinking. Here we go. Come on. No, no. Yes, I hope the car's not broken down.